need to get the words out there. And then I have a background, actually I'm a biologist. I'm a biologist, I'm a conservationist, uh, I'm an ecologist. And then uh, the message that we gain, that we learn from you know, working in the field, trying to do our studies, and then the informations that we gain have to be have to be delivered, delivered to the general audience, not just amongst the scientific community itself. And then events like this actually is a great, great opportunity for us to deliver our message uh, to the audience, to the general public, to, er to everybody who would love nature, who would like to know more our wildlife. And I have been studying sun bears over the last 14 years or so. And sun bear still remains the least known bear in the world, unfortunately, because only very, only very few people has been studying sun bears. And then uh, four years ago, I founded the Bodin uh, uh, Sun Bear Conservation Center, and the aim is to uh, help those bears in captivity. Yeah, so there's a lots of sun bears uh, being, being being captured and 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 keep as pets, and then um, want to help those bears give them a better facilities and then at the same time we also want to create this opportunity to educate the public about sun bears because uh, for me you know it is very important and every time so when I talk to people people do not know so most people even local Malaysian even local Sabahan do not know that there's a bear called sun bears and they know about polar bear they know about you know grizzly bear or brown bears and know and everybody knows about giant panda but they do not know about our own bear. And then when you think of it, it is actually very, very sad, yeah? So the center would really, really like to put a lot of efforts in our education systems to educate the public about sun bears. Not only the sun bears, but also the habitat, the rainforest that the sun bear lives in. This is the big picture that we ultimate, ultimately that we want to protect. Because if the forest is protect, you protect other wildlife that live in the forest as well. If the forest is protect, the forest actually gives humans or everybody living on Earth a better world, a better environment, better air quality, better climates, you know. And so it is very difficult for us to live without forests. So our center wants to do education work, educate people about the importance of sun bears, about the importance of the rainforest. And then we also want to continue our research on sun bears. Uh, sun bears are still the least known bear in the world. We still do not know a lot about the bears. And so we want to continue to do our research. And finally, we want to give the so-called pet sun bears, the captive sun bears, a second chance to be able to live in the wild. For many of the bears that we have, adults, old bears that age more than five years or more, we have the oldest bear, maybe he's 12, uh, he, maybe he's 19 or 20 years old. And all of those adult, older bears are not rehabilitable. You know, they cannot be released into a while. But the young ones, the cubs, do have the chance and we want to do it. However, in order to do it, we need the funding to do it. We need the funding. It is not cheap. It is not easy to do it, but we still think that it is the right thing to do it, so we want to do it. So this whole event is trying to create the awareness and try to fundraise and hopefully we will success on doing both. And for sure we have pretty doing really well on raising the awareness. And uh, today I was giving a talk at our ISKL, the, the International School of Kuala Lumpur and the kids was like overwhelmed with the presentations. And then this afternoon at 2 o'clock, uh, BFM 89.9, uh, uh, the business channel, has aired our interview where we recorded uh, last Monday about this Sun Bear Rocks event and about the, the, the conservation and the plight of the Sun Bears. So which is great. And then tomorrow night, National Geographic channel would air uh, a documentary that we filmed some, uh, last October with uh, Jason Scott Lee. So, you know, the whole timing is really, really good and really, really well. And then this on Friday, I'm going to uh, be interviewed at the uh, Burnama News. Uh, it's a live uh, TV show at 940, uh, 945. Uh, so again, you know, definitely it creates a lot of awareness. And um, 
So this event is all about awareness raising and it's all about um, uh, fundraising. Hopefully we can, get, we can raise some funds. And uh, talking about sun bears, I think, you know, how many of you have heard about sun bears before this event? Uh, not that. Uh, how about you guys? Heard about sun bears? No? No. Yeah, that is a problem. That is a problem. You know, I have, as a, as a, as an endangered species, so first of all, sun bear is an endangered species. Their population is declining, yeah, and then it needs a lot of attention, but without people knowing what sun bear is, without people familiar with the conservation issue of sun bears, the conservation works of sun bears is actually quite difficult because we do not have the support. We do not have the support from the general public. The support of the general public is actually quite important because it generates a wave of movements for the funders, for the government agency to do something. So, so it's still, still seriously lacking. And I hope all of these events and the centers after we set up would definitely would generate a lot of awareness uh, for the centers. Okay, uh, talking about sun bears. Sun bears is uh, is our bears. Sun bears is also called Malayan sun bear. Uh, the scientific name for the sun bear is Gila Actus malayanus. Gila in uh, in uh, Latin names is sun. Actus is bear. Malayanus is Malayan. So Malayan sun bears. We as a Malaysian actually should be proud of this species and this is one of the very few species of wildlife or plants yeah that have that carry the scientific names of Malaya, Malaysia, Malayanus. You know we should actually feel proud about this species. Unfortunately it is this one. Anyway, sun bears are found in South Asia. They are one of the two best species that found in Asia. The other best species is, is the moon bear. I also call the Asiatic black bear uh, versus uh, Tibetanus. And then they, are, they range in the entire Southeast Asia. I imagine, you know, a map of, of Southeast Asia, their range is on starting from the eastern tip of India, southern uh, tip of China in the Yunnan province, and then go south to uh, countries of Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Peninsula of Malaysia, islands of Sumatra, and islands of Borneo. And um, and um, there's many names for the sun bear. Can you can anybody give me you know other names for sun bear? Malay name, for example. Anybody? <laughs> Malay names is called burung madu. Yeah, honey bears. Why? Because they love honey so much. And the Chinese call it a dog bear. The Thai also call it a dog bear. Be quiet. Uh, Xiong in it in Chinese because they resemble a dog. You know, a skinny bear, a skinny sun bear looks very like a uh, Rottweiler. And then they also bark like dog too. You know, you wanna, you wanna hear how a sun bear bark? <coughs> like that, you know, really, really loud bark, you know? And then, uh, yeah. And I actually, I do this trick quite often, especially in the audience and try to sleep, yeah. It's a very, 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 very effective way to make the audience like, <sighs> wake up and you know all sweating <laughs> anyway so sun bear has many names and then um uh, what are we going to talk about sun bears uh they are, their habitat is the lowland uh, tropical forest uh in not only the lowland deep tropical forest or the lowland forest yeah they are actually found in uh, mountain forest they actually found in limestone forest they actually found in mangrove forest heath forest so they are very versatile species as long as there's a forest and as long as the forest is big enough, healthy enough, they have bears. And sun bears are a forest dependent species meaning that they have the dependence on forests in order to survive. They cannot live in you know, urban, area, uh, urban area, cities or plantation for example. So they are forest dependent species and they are uh, they have to depend on the forest and the amount of forest available reflects the amount of habitat available to them. So the better, the, the more forest you have for sun bears, the population of sun bears will do uh, better. 